Good day, YouTubers, fellow reloaders. Today is a hide in the house day because it is hot. It's 100 plus degrees outside, so we will be hiding in the shade as much as possible. And I've been meaning to do this video forever and a day, and we're just going to call uh the we're gonna call it what it is just being lazy uh maybe you remember about a year ago i did a uh secure ram sucky ram however you pronounce them update uh, i think it was a something uh called uh secure ram five years later update or follow-up or something like that and i talked about my experiences with this particular lock and um my uh, reasoning for going with this lock, uh, replacing the original lock was because of the ability to do uh, a dual purpose lock, to have both uh, your digital as well as your analog. So if something were to fail, you know, the EMP or batteries or whatever, you know, you still have your ability to open uh, the lock mechanically. So kind of the best of both worlds. So this was like uh, $250 Years and years ago, uh, the first one broke because of the light that would normally light up that was right there. And then the second one, um, so the first one really didn't break mechanically or operationally. It was just, you know, the light and the design of that light. And uh, as you can see from uh, the current version, there is no light when you pop this open and uh, to be able to view that particular uh, dial. So, um, I replaced the first one under warranty and then the second one after like four years, three plus years started to go in terms of, I would have to do the numbers a bunch of times because if you do the numbers and you get your beep and I wasn't able to open my lock, um, I had to do it, you know, two twice. And then a couple months later, a few months later, I had to do it three times. I think I got up to about as many as five, four or five times. I think uh, I documented in the video. And at that point, I'm like, yeah, it is what it is. Well, uh, the folks at uh, Secure Ram, Secure Secure Ram, um, saw the video and they said, hey, we want to make this right. So, uh, and we'd also like to uh, get that lock back to see. Uh, what was wrong with it so uh they replaced this lock for me um like i said that's probably been about a year so this video is long overdue but now we can say that it's been out in the wild for a year and what problems have i had or how have i come uh overcome some of the changes to to the lock um so a couple things i'll note is that um, when doing the combo so let's say i do the combo incorrectly So you get your three be three beeps um, when you do it incorrectly, and I'll cover this and do my hopefully uh, combo correctly. So you get one beep, and then you can open, and that has worked flawlessly. In fact, um, when you do your combination and you get your beep. Um, Everything just sounds a whole lot more crisp, if that even makes any sense. So from a functionality perspective, reinstalling the lock, setting it up, and they replaced all uh, the unit. The uh, front combination analog lock, as well as the rear lock. So it wasn't like I just took a piece off and replaced the fascia uh, with a new lock. So a whole new, whole new set and uh, everything has worked fine uh, flawlessly for the last uh, year plus uh, the only uh, downside oh and it looks like i've got 10 percent battery so let me um put a charger on otherwise we're gonna go dead so hang on one minute and we are back that is uh, murphy's law in action making a video and having the battery go bad so uh, that either says i'm making too many videos or I'm not charging the camera enough, or maybe a combination of both. But uh, anyways, um, I like the functionality of the lock in terms of, uh, you know, it does what it used to do, only I think it does it better. So obviously they've made improvements. The only downside, and I know why they did this, was they removed all components for that light. So there's no, um, there's no battery, there's no circuitry, there's no LED, there's no nothing where that light was. So uh, that's both a good and a bad. 
uh, good in the sense that it probably eliminated a lot of uh, production issues, RMA returns, otherwise they would have kept it. Uh, bad in the sense that that's kind of hard to see. And if it's dark in here, which I'll show you, um, that makes it uh, even more challenging. So I'm going to kill the lights and then I'm going to show you um, what I've done uh, as my workaround solution to address um, the new version not having that light. All right, so it is dark, and if I were to come up to my safe and pop this uh, hood open to do mechanical, um, you can see that uh, I can now read the numbers. Uh, I don't know how visible this is on the camera. I'm standing behind the camera, so I'm not going to try. Let me lean in. I have no issues seeing these numbers uh, with this uh, with this red light. Whoops. So let me show you what this light is. But I'll turn on the light so you can see the light. All right. So Liberty makes this particular one. I think Canon makes one as well. And there are two versions. Um, and the only difference is the length of this hood. And uh, one version is made for a digital only lock, which is kind of funny because you know, the digital lock lights up, and I'll, I'll show that as well. And most digital locks today, um, either as soon as you go to touch it or you touch, like, you know, the light and it will turn on. So whether you need this or not, that's your own personal preference, but this digital light doesn't do me any good for the mechanical portion of the lock to see the dial. So the shorter version of this, which is made for a digital lock, um, or was it made for the analog lock? Can't remember. It's been too long. In any case, I bought the shorter version first, thinking that's what I would need because all I need is a light down here to see the mechanics or the the dial of the mechanical lock, not anything on this face. But the reality was with this hood, this hood that protects the dial, and this shortness of the hood, the light was essentially. Uh, right in here and it was shining right down on this hood not into the actual numbers so uh, it did me no good so uh, I ended up buying the longer version which sits out you know considerably so the light comes to right about here so this amount of illumination lights up um, that uh, digital, or excuse me, that analog portion, the dial portion of the number. So uh, I want to say this was like 20 bucks. Oh, and Murphy's Law, phone call. Sorry about that, life calls. So uh, this has worked out really great. And the fact that it's magnetic and movable and you could raise it lowered or move it wherever you need is awesome. And it also turns into a nightlight if uh, you needed to get into your safe and your safe doesn't have uh, any particular illumination. Again, the touchpad lights up quite nicely. And this particular light stays on for about 30 seconds. Um, so between the two, um, I have no issues uh, seeing that dial. And I actually like this combination of uh, my ability to use an external light, have it stay on. So, you know, uh, I can see things in the dark with my red light. And I can see the dial of my lock without any issues so all is good so uh, there are people who are not happy with the the dual locks and uh, you know to each his own uh, I love the functionality the ease of use the speed of a digital lock uh, and I like the reliability dependency of the analog or mechanical lock so putting the two together uh, that's a win and I will say thank you to Securam for uh, coming through they didn't have to do that their product was beyond warranty and uh, it's great when a manufacturer stands behind their product and they make it right so um, I love this lock and uh, I'm happy with this version uh, that I don't have to worry about the battery or the light and uh, I have my portable light so uh, I would say all is good and uh, no issues